and welcome to my very first Shut Up and Ride video podcast. I intend doing these once or twice monthly from now on instead of writing my articles. And if you have any suggestions as to topics or questions you need answered, please do not hesitate to message me on Facebook or there's my email address. My thoughts on positive thinking. For some reason, a lot of people consider that I'm a, a quite the positive thinker, but the reality is I think positive thinking, whilst on one hand, positive thinking is better than on the other hand, negative thinking. I totally agree with that. It isn't really where we want to be if we're going to achieve the success we want. Negative thinking definitely will make you feel miserable, even if you do succeed. Negative thinking is such a dead end road to misery. Been there, bought the t-shirt. In fact, I owned the factory of making those t-shirts at one stage. <laughs> You know, I remember winning the New South Wales State Championships by 19 penalties. For those of you that don't event, that's a lot. And all I could think about on the drive home, a long drive home it was too, was that if I would have had a refusal cross country that I wouldn't have won. You know, that is insanely unhealthy thinking. And the reality was I, I just did not enjoy the moment of winning a, quite a big event. Positive thinking, on the other hand, whilst... It is better, the culture of the self-help gurus of believe and you will achieve, to me, is very toxic shit. The thing I found with thinking overly positive all the time was the, the, the guilt and shame I felt after I failed. You know, I thought, I've done everything. I've done all the positive thinking. I've done all what the self-help gurus say. I've done all this and it just didn't work. That's not reality when it comes to horses. Horses don't live there. The reality is we need to know that there are problems. The reality is we need to think productively how we're gonna get through those problems. This is where training horses lie. And to me, where life lies. So somewhere in the middle between positive on one hand and negative on the other is this place I like to live in and it's called reality. And I, if you're going to give it a name, I'd call it productive thinking. Productive thinking has us accept that we are all have limitations. Our horses have limitations. Our riding has limitations. Our life circumstances has limitations. This is the first and foremost thing we all have to learn to accept. None of this wishful thinking and it's all going to be fine one day. And if I just think, think enough, I'll, I'll achieve something. It's really hard work. And that's part and parcel of productive thinking, accepting that this will be hard work. You can believe all you can, but unless you actually get out there and do something, it's not going to happen for you. It's about finding the solutions to the problems we have and staying focused on those solutions. Now, those solutions can adapt because as we, we learn a little bit and we work towards some solution, we might sort of evolve and understand things a little bit better. This is the process and it's important that we love this process. If you love the process, you will get your results. You'll stay in it long enough. It takes years and years and years to become an incredibly good rider. Anyway, hopefully some of these ramblings is you found helpful and I found, honestly, found this a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Oh, far out. See, that doesn't make sense. Healthy, Healthy productive. And I'm, you're, getting, you're getting close with that, Pete. You're getting close. So again, well, where are you going with that? Again, it just gets too wishy-washy. I like it, I like the start of it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, share it by all means, and look forward to seeing you on the next one.